Um, and it's a 20 inch. So, it, 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 you know, I like it because uh, this one, for lack of a better word, I, I can go through all of them with you, but um, they're, all, they're obviously all chosen for a reason. Um, this one, like, has a, a, a really grainy texture to it. Um, this one tends to be a little smoother. These are both 20s, and they tend to be very loud. Um, would you like me to hit them individually so you can kind of hear what they all sound like? Yeah. All right. Um, so this one is a, um, a Peisty um, 19 Wild Crash. Okay. Um, so, so I'll give you a, a listen to it. And it'd probably be a little more fair if I was sitting down because I typically don't stand up and like, you know, swing from the ceiling. But, um, so this one is a, um, a Peisty Rude. Um, this one's also a Rude. I don't know if I said that, but this is a Rude also. A Wild Crash 19. This one is a Peisty Rude Novo China. Okay, and the Novo Chinas, I don't know if you're familiar with them, but the Novo Chinas are different than a, a, reg, a Peisty regular Chinas. The, the, these are, look like they're inside out. All the Novo Chinas look like they're inside out, and they have a distinctly different sound than Pisces other Chinas, which also sound good. But so this one is also rude, it sounds like this. So I'll, I'll go, since we have your attention on the, on the China, I'll do the, this one is the same symbol, exactly the same model. And I, and I did that because I wanted to have the same sound on this side, obviously. But it was, it was just for a specific reason. This one, when I'm in a, a bigger place, a, a bigger stage, or, or even playing music festivals, for me, to my ear, because I, I wear in-ears, so in-ears, these are custom molded monitors that go in my ears. Sometimes when I, have, when I hear the band, I can't hear the cymbals. Even if it's, and I don't listen to the band that loud, but loud enough. And I don't have the sound of the cymbals pumped into those because they tend to have a very high end, very high, they're up on the, um, in the frequency band, in terms of the EQ range, and they'll they'll compete with the guitars. So I, I, I live I groove off the guitars, I play to the guitars, and use the, the singer's cadence to keep me in a, a pocket. So um, these cut through on, in the bigger or louder situations. Yeah. So um, and so this one here is a, um, a Peisty Power Crash. It's a signature series, um, and it's uh, um, yeah. Uh, this one I like. Uh, it's got a quicker sound. You know, uh, this one, uh, I'll, I'll play the difference between the two. When I play faster songs, I, I, I had all these big, powerful cymbals. And when you're playing really fast, um, the big cymbals tend to, um, they tend to have a, a they, they, they ring for a long time. So, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you that in a second, actually. So, uh, Power Crash 18. <laughs> it tends to be a little punchier. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it goes away quicker. So when you're playing fast, I can still it, it, it has power, it has punch, so it can it can kind of sit in with these cymbals. I have a 17 uh, that I was, I put up on this side. It sounds great when you're playing in a smaller room in a rehearsal studio, but I got it up on stage and I played it live a couple times and it was like hitting a piece of paper. Great sound of cymbal, don't get me wrong, but it just didn't have the presence. You know what I mean? This one is a um, I love this cymbal. I've had it on my kit forever. Um, not this one, but this model. This is a Peisty Signature Series um, Full Crash. And uh, this is a, I love this symbol. So, yeah, this is a really nice one. It's not as brash as, as say, the, the Roods. And, it, and it's not a brash, this one, I can't use the word brash for this one. I would say this is a grainier symbol than that one. And I'll, I'll, I guess I'll show you. I'll hit this one first, and that one, you'll definitely see the difference. The way my mind, when I see it in sound, is that's grainier to me. Yeah. So, um, oh, and then let me let me run through. I'll get you a second. Um, let me. I'll run through these two things too. Okay. So the uh, ride symbol is um, it's called a black bell ride. Yeah, because when I saw you live with uh, Lamb of God and Behemoth at the, I think it was Bill Graham Auditorium, yeah. I saw you there and I really noticed your ride. It was like really powerful. Cool. Yeah, so this is a 22. Yeah. Um, there's different sizes. 22 rides, and this one's pretty thick, too. And uh, I chose this one because uh, it's funny. Uh, a lot of symbols get, I, I went to Pisces in Switzerland, 
and got to make my own symbol. And if you ever go to, if you ever get a chance to go to Feisty, it's an amazing experience because they truly, they make these symbols by hand. They make them by hand. Not, they don't machine them. They lay them, but they lay them by hand. You know, they, they have a, a, it's not a machine that does it. It's a person that lays them on a, something and spins. But anyway, they have these people, um, th these bells, the, each symbol is hammered out. So these bells have to be perfect, the way they hammer them. I did mine, I should have brought it, because it's a uh, horrible sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's horrible. So the bell, I, I found that the bell of each symbol, and, I, and, I, and that, I'm, I'm kind of segueing that into the ride, kind of gives it its tone. So, and so the ride, um, I, I, love a, I, love a, I love a big bell. I, it can't be too big. I just got to have the right tone, so that's why I chose this ride. So, especially with the ride. You can, kind of, you can hear that, you can hear that bell in there. So, um, and then my hi-hats are... Um, the 15 signature series, uh, the Pisces, they're sound edge hi hats. You know what a sound edge hi hat is? Let me show you. Sound edge hi hats are interesting because I won't deconstruct the whole drone set here. <laughs> so, sound edges are interesting because the top, most hi hats have a flat edge, right? Sound, it's cool. The first time I saw sound edges were on the back of a Boston album. Um, but, the, but the edge of this symbol, see how it's like it's wavy like that? It tends to be sound more explosive because the sound gets out from the middle of it. You know what I mean? So these are these are really like I mean they they were hard to they're 15s also by the way. So uh, 15s are really interesting symbol to play with for a couple different reasons. Um, when you first start playing a 15 inch symbol, the symbol will play you. And I, it did for me because I, I went from 14 inch symbols and. Of course, the cymbals have this really sweet sound. You know what I mean? They sound great with all kinds of grooves and stuff. They're tight. You can do all these lifts and stuff, and they just, they just they react. You know, they're great. Fifteens, on the other hand, you, you know, it, it took me quite some time to kind of, kind of get these things to like work for me. You know what I mean? So, um, so real quick, I'll play a fast beat for you, and I'll show you how these cymbals will ring out. I'll, 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 I'll throw each one into the pattern. Um, won't be anything crazy. I'll just play a thrash beat for you to give you an example of how long these things ring while I'm playing. Okay? so few like rhythms that you can play like something I've noticed about your fills specifically and stuff is that you always have really creative different sounding stuff mm. how do you maintain that creativity playing like as long as you have that's a great question that's probably the most important the first question I ever learned that's <laughs> the answer to that question came to me the first time I ever went into the recording studio to do my first record okay I learned it fast and sometimes it wasn't a hard lesson, but, I, but it was one that I realized. I was playing a song called "Eyes of Glass," which was from Forbidden. And so, anyway, I had I had I had this pattern. I had this this idea of how I wanted to play the song, and I never recorded myself playing with the band. But it sounded great to me while I was doing it. Well, I got under the mics, which is getting under, which is basically being under a microscope. And so the first, my, I did my first take, yeah, it sounds pretty good, come in and listen to it. Usually when you get in the studio, it, you're, either you're like Alex Van Halen and you get it the first time, which I would love to be, but I'm not. Oh, by the way, Alex is probably up there with Buddy to me. I forgot about that. Alex is... Um, that was his favorite, too. Oh, yeah, Al yeah Alex is... Uh, you know what? I, Alex is probably, i got to say this, Alex is probably, uh, not probably, he's just under Buddy. He's number two. Very good. Yeah, very easy. Wow. He's, he's, he's number two. Yeah. Have, you ever, have, you ever, have you ever heard, um, so I'll get to you, I'll get to you, um, uh, the, the album 